In question 7 of this exercise, part 1 says, Chalk contains calcium, carbon and oxygen in the ratio 10 is to 3 is to 12. Find the percentage of carbon in chalk. So, the ratio of calcium to carbon to oxygen in chalk is given. It is 10 is to 3 is to 12. And using this, we have to find the percentage of carbon in chalk. So, we basically have to find that in any unit of chalk, what is the percentage of carbon? Okay, so this is actually quite easy. So let's start with writing the ratio that's given. So we are given that calcium to carbon. So I'm using short forms. Calcium to carbon to oxygen. This ratio is 10 is to 3 is to 12. Okay, this means that the total of parts in this ratio, total of parts, in this ratio, what is the total of parts? So that's simply 10 plus 3 plus 12, which is equal to 25. So the total of parts is 25. And now we can find the amount of carbon as a fraction of the whole. So the amount of carbon as a fraction of the whole will simply be the part in the ratio corresponding to carbon, which is 3 divided by the total of parts which is 25. So the amount of carbon will be 3 by 25 in fraction form or we can convert it to percentage form. So 3 by 25 into 100 this many percentage. Okay and now 100 by 25 is 4 and 3 into 4 is 12. So this is equal to 12 percent. So the amount of carbon in chalk or the percentage of carbon in chalk is 12 percent this is the answer for the first part then let's do part 2 now part 2 says if in a stick of chalk carbon is 3 grams what is the weight of the chalk stick okay so we know that carbon makes up 12 percent of chalk we have just calculated it in the first part and using this we have to find that if in a stick of chalk the amount of carbon is 3 grams, what will be the total weight of the chalk stick? Again, this is quite straightforward. Let's solve it by setting up a simple proportion. So let's assume, let's assume that the weight of the chalk stick is, let's assume it as a variable. So let's assume that this is equal to x grams. Now, we to set up the proportion, we observe that 12% of the chalk of the chalk stick will be carbon which will correspond to 3 grams this is already given to us and 100% of the weight of the chalk stick will correspond to x grams which is what we have to find so from these two relations we can set up the proportion 12% is to 100% will be equal to 3 grams is to x grams so now let's convert the ratios to fractions. So this is 12 by 100 on the LHS and on the RHS we have 3 by X. Now 12 by 3 is 4 and 100 by 4 is 25. And now if we cross multiply, we will get X on the left hand side and 25 on the right hand side. So we get X is equal to 25 and this means that the weight of the chalk stick is x grams which is 25 grams so the answer for the second part is the weight of the chalk stick is 25 grams with this we have completed both parts of question number seven to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers